thank you for joining us again on the newsroom. The Senate Public Accounts Committee has again summoned the management of the Nas Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, over alleged non-remittance of 4 trillion naira to the Federation account between 2010 and 2016. Just last week, the management of the NNPC appeared before the Senate panel to explain how the money was spent. The firm, in a written response, explained that the money was expended on oil pipeline repairs, heavily subsidized domestic fuel supplies, security and management matters. The committee, however, asked the NNPC to provide it with the required details within a week so that the panel would either vacate or sustain the query. The ruling People's Democratic Party PDP in Sokoto State has won the local government elections conducted during the weekend. The party swept all the chairmanship seats for the 23 local government councils. The main opposition party in the state, the All Progressives Congress APC, did not participate in the election. Announcing the results, the chairman of the state independent electoral commission, Ali Yusuleiman, noted that results from the councillors in 23 areas would be announced at their respective local government headquarters. National leader of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Tinobu, says Lagos and Kano states must remain peaceful given their large population and economic potential. Tinobu said this when he paid a visit to Aminu Adobayero, the Emir of Kano, as part of activities slated to mark his 69th birthday. The former governor of Lagos said Kano and Lagos states, which possess common population densities and hold economic growth, must lead other parts of the country on a peaceful mission. And the World Health Organization Director General Tedros Ghebreyesus says all hypotheses on the COVID-19 pandemic's origins remain open and need further study based on international experts' reports on their mission to Wuhan. He says the UN Health Agency had uh, received the report over the weekend, adding that all theories on how the virus entered humans remained on the table. A team of international experts visited Wuhan, China in January and February this year, examining and ranking in their subsequent report for possible pathways the virus might have entered humans before spreading around the world. The number of telecom subscribers in Nigeria dropped by 11.84 million in four months, according to latest industry statistics from the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC. The recent report shows that telecommunications operators in the country recorded yet another loss of 4.13 million active subscribers in February 2021, as the industry recorded 195.7 million GSM users in the month. The telcos had lost 46,648 subscribers in November 2020, followed by a drop of 3.3 million subscribers in December 2020, and then a loss of 4.29 million subscribers in January 2021. The grandmother of former U.S. President Barack Obama has died aged 99 in western Kenya. The family spokesperson Musa Ismail said Sarah Obama had been unwell for a week but had tested negative for COVID-19. She was born in 1922 in a village on the shores of Lake Victoria. Sarah was the third wife of Hussein Onyango Obama, popularly known as Mama Sarah. She rose to world fame with the 2008 election of her step-grandson Barack as the first black U.S. president. The Federation of Ugandan Football Associations and the Football Association of Malawi have clashed over Tadio Luanga's coronavirus status ahead of a do-or-die Africa Cup of Nations qualifier. FIFA has raised the concern after results from a local hospital showed the midfielder is COVID-19 positive, a result that Uganda has disputed and sought the intervention of calf hours before the game kicks off. Meanwhile, Uganda are in Blantyre ahead of a decisive qualifier that has now been clouded by controversy around the midfielder's health. Well, that's the latest update on news now at this time. Thank you so much for watching. I am Oni Adekunle. Bye for now.